Oh, good morning. Hello and welcome to you. My name is Howie. I'll write it on the board. H O W I E. Howie. The best way to pronounce that would be OW. Oui. Okay, so let's begin and a welcome to all of you. Today we're going to look around you and look in your home because that's where we are and we're going to look at all the lovely things that you can see and that you can find in your home. Please make sure to bring with you pens, pencils and paper. So who am I? I've already told you and today we're going to keep our bodies moving even when we're at home because that's very important. Today we are going to have fun. Learn a few new words and in English too. Practice makes perfect. What does that mean? The more you practice, the better you'll be. Let's go. So here is a map and just to show you where I am, I come from South Africa which is at the bottom and if you go up you'll get to Israel. That's where we are today and I've been teaching for many years and my passion is to teach through music and through English and let's start with all of that. So are you ready? What do you need to prepare for the class? You need a pencil, some colors and paper. Go and get it. We're waiting. Are you ready? Have you got all the things you need? A pencil, some colors, a piece of paper? Well, let's go. Here's something different before we begin. Three children are sitting in the bedroom. They are singing a song about fingers and thumbs. How many fingers are in the room altogether? Is it 10? Is the answer 25? Is the answer 30 or is the answer 29? What do you think? Well, if you said the answer is 30, you're right. Well done. So now we're going to sing a similar song and the song goes like this. I'll sing it very slowly and repeat after me. One finger, one thumb, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, keep moving, we'll all be happy and bright. Should we do that again? One finger, one thumb, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, keep moving, we'll all be happy and bright. Second verse. One finger, one thumb, one arm, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one arm, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one arm, keep moving. We'll all be happy and bright. One finger, one thumb, one arm, one leg, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one arm, one leg, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one arm, one leg, keep moving. We'll all be happy and bright. One finger, one thumb, one arm, one leg, one nod of the head, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one arm, one leg, one nod of the head, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one arm, one leg, one nod of the head, keep moving. We'll all be happy and bright. Oh, are you ready for the last verse? It's very difficult. A bit of a challenge. We're going to go down and up. 
One finger, one thumb, one arm, one leg, one nod of the head, sit down, stand up, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one arm, one leg, one nod of the head, sit down, stand up, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one arm, one leg, one nod of the head, sit down, stand up, keep moving. We'll all be merry and bright. We'll all be happy and bright. I hope you enjoyed that and I enjoyed singing. Whew, worked up a bit of a sweat. Maybe we should have a drink. It's always good to drink, by the way, while you're working out. That's enough. Don't want to get too watered down. Okay, and we're moving on. So let's see what you know already. Things that you've learned in school. You're in your house. You know the parts of the body. We've done fingers and thumbs and arms and legs. But where do you, but do you know the rooms of the house? Where do you sleep? Where do you eat? Where do you wash your hands? So let's see. We sleep in the bedroom. We eat in the dining room. And we wash our hands in the bathroom and kitchen. Washing hands is very very important. Everybody says so. Now it's time for a chant. You know what a chant is? Sing with me. Every house is homely. Every house is neat. If you have at least one room, your house is so complete. If you have more than one, that is good to hear. The bedroom is where you sleep. The bathroom should be near. Why should the bathroom be near? Because maybe you need the toilet. The dining room is where we eat. The, in living rooms, we relax. In the shower, you might get wet. In the office, just send your fax. Hey, don't forget the kitchen. That's where you make the food. This is the last room of our chant. So now we're in the mood. Woohoo! Okay, I'm going to give you three minutes to answer these questions. Where do I? Go for it. I shower in the kitchen. Ooh, I made a mistake. That's not correct. I'm trying to confuse you. I shower in the... Mom works on her computer in the... She watches TV and relaxes in the... Do you eat lunch in the... When we want to go to sleep, we go to our... And the car is parked in the... Come on guys, you can do it. I wish I could see you. I wish I could see you doing what you are doing. You must be writing the correct answers, I'm sure. There's a new word. I wonder if you found the new word. What is a garage? And why did I put two stars next to that sentence? Because it's a harder word. And I'm sure you'll understand when you see the picture. You've got another minute and a half. One finger, one thumb, keep moving. One finger, one thumb. No, that's going to confuse you. I'm sorry. Don't want to confuse you. I hope you guys are doing well where you are. Not an easy situation for any of us. Remember to wash your hands in the bathroom or kitchen. Oop, I think I gave away an answer. Silly me. Lemisha Shalom Avin, atem tzachim lamale ta targil im amilim shenimtzim betzad betzvayim. Od mat anachon ibdok et atshuvot. Oh, I can speak Hebrew as well. I'm bilingual. That means I can speak two languages. Shh, keep working.
Okay, count down with me. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And here are the answers. I shower in the bathroom. Whew, not in the kitchen, thank goodness. Mom works on her computer in the office. Good for mom. She also watches TV and relaxes in the living room. Do you eat your lunch in your dining room? That's a question. When we want to sleep, we go to our bedroom. Oh, I'd love to be in my bedroom now, but no, I'm here with you guys. Much better. The car is parked in the garage and we will find out in a few minutes what a garage is. So let's look at the words that we've gone over. Starting from the left, we have the lounge, the bathroom, the garage, the park, sorry, to park, which is a verb, the dining room, the shower, relax, office, complete. What does complete mean? Homely, kitchen, food, mood. Ooh, that rhymes. Neat, chant and forget. Now we're going to play a little game and then we're going to learn and, ex and explain and learn the words. For example, I'm going to start at the word kitchen. Put your finger on kitchen and now we're going to go up two squares. We're going to go left two squares and we're going to go down three squares. And what is the word that we arrived at? You're right, it's mood, and mood rhymes with good mood, and we're in good moods because we're happy, and we're learning English, and that's so important. When you want to travel, when you want to be on the internet, when you want to play computer games, you need English. Let's take another, tra another challenge. Let's start at the word forget. Forget means I don't remember. I can't remember, but I remember we're starting at the word forget. We're going up to... We're going left two. We're going down one. And which word do we get to? The word homely. Well done. And what word is hiding in the word homely? The word home. And home means by it, means where we live, our house. And homely means the feeling that we have when we, we are at home. We'll do one more challenge and I'll go a bit quicker. Starting at the word bathroom, we're going right to, we're going down to, we're going left three, we're going up one, and we're going right one. And where did we get to? The shower. And it's not only the shower, it's what you do in the shower. You have a shower and you shower in the shower. So you're doing a, you have a verb with a noun and it's a great experience because you're also washing your hands and washing your hands, as I said, is very, very important. Have a look at the words because they're going away and make sure if there's any words that you don't understand, you can write them down and check with Google Translate later on to see what the meaning of the word is. The difficult words might be to uh, complete means shalem. I feel complete. I feel whole. To park means lachnot, to park my car. We're moving on and we're moving to the board. I hope you can all see the board. Can you all see it? Don't answer me. Don't, don't answer me. Don't all put up your hands. Okay, so let me just rub off my name because I know my name. I'm going to divide the board into two. I'm going to divide the board into what we call pronouns, shemot guf, and we have I, you, we, and they. And I've put them together for a specific reason, and I'll show you in a minute. I'm also going to put at the bottom, what, what, which pronouns are missing? We've got he, she and it. Now he could be anything to do with the male, with the, the, my father, my brother. She could be my mother, my sister, my girlfriend. And it could be anything to do with an, an animals, 
tables, anything uh, like objects and things that are, uh, are not humans. Now why am I doing this? Because we're going, we are going to do a, a exercise where you're going to have to add a word that shows uh, the negative side of doing uh, certain actions. For example, if I want to say that I don't shower in the kitchen because that's obvious, I write I don't shower in the kitchen. You don't shower in the kitchen. No one showers in the kitchen. But if I want to say that my brother doesn't shower in the kitchen, I need to write the word doesn't. How do I get to the doesn't? In other words, it's do plus the es that I know I have to add to the does, and then I add the word not. So I've got don't for I, you, we, and they, and I've got doesn't for he, she, and it. I, you, we, they for don't, he, she, and it for doesn't. The good thing is that I don't have to rub that off the board. I don't have to rub that off the board as we go to the exercise. Are you ready for the exercise? Have you got your pens and papers ready? You've got three minutes to do the exercise. I will read the first example for you and then you're on your own. You need to fill in with don't or doesn't. La schlimmet am ispat im don't or doesn't. For example, I don't sleep in the kitchen. I sleep in the bedroom. I don't sleep in the kitchen. I sleep in the bedroom. Go for it. I'll speak softly so I don't give you a fright. But I'm back and I'm here to help. Does anyone need any help? Yes, Mishu Shetzich Ezra? Ata Besof, Yofi, Yofi, Ani Ozelacha. I will read the sentences. My brother, mm, in the dining room, he relaxes in the lounge. Terry, mm, in the office, he showers in the bathroom. I, mm, my car in the kitchen, I park my car in the garage. My sister and I, mm, games in the office, we play games in the living room. Are you ready for the answers? 
We won't count down this time. We'll go straight to the answers. Here we go. My brother doesn't relax in the dining room. Well, he'd sleep on the table. Come on, that's silly. Terry doesn't shower in the office. Of course not. He showers in the bathroom. Silly family. I don't park my car in the kitchen. I park my car in the garage. Well, I wonder whose family this is for. And my sister and I don't play games in the office. We play games in the living room. Well done, guys. I'm very, very impressed. And if you got them right, I'm even more impressed. And I'm sure your parents are checking your answers now. And if they're not, just give them a hug anyway. They deserve it. They're going through hard times, as we are all. So here's a little challenge for you as we near the end of our show. Look at the pictures. Are they clear in Brewerim? No, they're not. That's on purpose. You have to guess what picture, what is the picture in the slide. In other words, picture A is, picture B is, picture C is, Picture D is, picture E and F. It seems to be missing a few letters. So let's go according to the, 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 the clock. A, it's actually anti-clockwise. We're going A, B, then we go to the next line C, D, then we're going to the next column E and F. Who took my letters off the slides? מי לקח את האותיות שלי? אני אסביר בעברית. אנחנו צריכים עכשיו לגלות מה מסתתר מאחורי כל תמונה. תמונה A, האם זה המקלחת? תמונה ב, האם זה המקלחת? תמונה C, האם זה המטבח? ו-D זה מתחת ל-C, E זה ליד תמונה C, ו-F זה התמונה האחרונה. ומה זה? איפה זה? בואו ניתן לכם עוד דקה, ו... נראה את התשובות. I love teaching this class. You guys are so quiet. I can't hear any of you. Just keep working like that. You're working like stars, I'm sure. I have an appointment with the person who took my letters. Yes, li to in my ish la kakleta Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, three, two, one, and we're going to show you the answers. A is, of course, the garage where we park our car. B is the living room. Wow, these pictures look so much better now. C is the bathroom. Did you get them right? Give yourself a pat on the back if you did. What about D? D is the kitchen. And E is the dining room where we eat our meals. And finally, who can guess what the last one is? It is the office. How many of you did you get right? Did you get six right? Or did you get one or two or three? Well done, guys. To end off, we're going to chant again. And I'd like you to sing with me. You ready? <clears throat> one, two, three. We'll do it slowly. Every house is homely. Every house is neat. If you have at least one room, your house is so complete. 
You know there are houses with only one room? Yesh patimim rak cheder achad, v'yesh patimim yoter. If you have more than one, that's good to hear. The bedroom is where you sleep. The bathroom should be near. The dining room is where you eat. In living rooms, you relax. In the shower, you may get wet. In the office, just send your fax. Hey, don't forget the kitchen. That's where you make the food. This is the last verse of the chant. So now we're in the mood. Woo, woo, we're ending the show. And the last song, we're going to go back with the last verse of one finger, one thumb, one arm, one leg, keep oh, one nod of the head, sit down, stand up, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one arm, one leg, one nod of the head, sit down, stand up, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one arm, one leg, one nod of the head, sit down, stand up, keep moving. We'll all be happy and bright. Thank you so much for being with me. I've really enjoyed teaching you and we're going to go to this worksheet to be done in your own time. You've got about 10 minutes. Take the time to copy it. Take a picture of it with your cell phone and try and answer the questions. You need to write the words under the pictures. Some of the words are connected to our stories and some of them are different. או לעבוד על המסך, או לעבוד על הדף. אני מחכה לכם ושמח להיות איתכם כאן עכשיו. Go for it.
Ah, oh, we've come to the end of our time. Thank you so much for being a part. Remember to keep your hands clean. And I really want to thank you for being a fantastic group of children. Thank you to your parents. Thank you to all of you. And goodbye for now. See you in the next lesson.